My name is Gilad and I'm VP of Research and Development at SocialFlow. We just came out with an audience analysis of six major news organizations and their Twitter audiences. So effectively, who follows them on Twitter. We try to understand uh, the people who, who choose to follow these news accounts and some behavior around uh, their participation on Twitter. So who follows multiple accounts? Like who follows BBC News and CNN? Or who follows both Al Jazeera and Fox News? And what we can learn from these groups of people. One of the things we tried to do was uh, define what engagement means because there are many definitions of engagement, right? It, it could be measured by clicks, how many people actually click on links being shared, and it could be retweets, how many people repost uh, the content that's being shared. One thing that we found was that The Economist consistently showed higher levels of engagement in both retweets and clicks. And what surprised us was the fact that the audience of The Economist, which is a third the size of the New York Times audience, actually clicks on much more content compared to the New York Times audience. It's actually really hard to keep an engaged audience the larger it is. At the New York Times audience is the largest uh, audience in terms of size compared to the other accounts that we looked at. Uh, but it's the, the metrics for engagement, so it's the number of clicks that we saw per URL shared or the number of retweets that we saw was substantially lower than other accounts. That said, when we looked at The Economist, which had a, a, a sort of relatively sizable audience, the metrics for engagement, like the number of clicks that uh, shared links generated and the number of retweets were much higher um, compared to other media accounts in its size. Comparing to other media accounts, the Fox News audience clicks on many more links that are shared. That said, its audience doesn't retweet and is not active on Twitter. They're not reposting the stuff that Fox News is sharing, they're just clicking on it. When we compare that to Al Jazeera, it's really interesting because Al Jazeera's audience is much more active on Twitter. Like posts many more uh, tweets on Twitter and retweets much more of Al Jazeera's content, but it's not clicking at the same rates as Fox News audience. So this raises an interesting question when you're a media outlet do you want to focus on getting your audience to click on content, or do you want to have an audience that sort of takes your brand name, forwards it on, it on to its followers, uh, retweets your content, and builds, sort of builds trust uh, within the network, uh, but doesn't click on as much content? I think that it's incredibly important to look at the metrics and understand what they mean when we see number of followers per account, we have to understand that doesn't necessarily mean a larger, more engaged audience. It's a number of people who chose to follow an account for a certain reason at a certain point in time, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you get much more traffic to your site or you get many more people retweeting your, your brand. So the number of followers doesn't necessarily matter. 